Okay, so our line set's all connected now, and next step is going to be accessing all the electrical goodies that happen underneath this panel here. Okay, so first step, you need to remove typically four screws. And for this air spool unit, you're actually going to have, which we'll talk about a little bit later, is you're going to have these two MC4, a positive and negative MC4 connection to connect solar panels. Okay, but we're setting those aside for now. Okay, and so instead, for right now, we're going to talk about the 110 volt power coming in here along with the control power uh, going from the outside unit here to the inside unit. And so we're going to knock out one of these plugs here. Out. Okay. And then you should have, in this case, this unit's run on 110 volt power, so 115, 120 volt power, whatever you want to call it. You should have a nice straight ground here on your plug. And so you'll have a normal outlet USA 110 volt plug. And then you're going to have a positive, negative, and a ground wire. Okay? So those are going to feed through here. And then you also have the control slash power that goes to the inside unit. And we'll feed this through the same hole. Alternatively, you could feed either through this, this um, side port here, but we're only going to use this bottom one. And these two are going to be for the solar later on. All right, so now we're all set up. And these wires are going to fit underneath this mount here. And what this does is it keeps them from being pulled out away from these screws where they're going to be tied into. Okay, you'll notice we took one of the screws of this flange uh, out, and so it's a setting like this. But first, before mounting these screws in this base here, in this channel here, we're going to mount the ground screws. Okay, so there's two of them. One's, one's from the power cord, one's from the power slash control wire. Power slash control wires already been mounted. And now the ground's done. Okay, same is the inside unit. You know, we're doing them in alphabetical order. It doesn't matter. They're just copper wire or control wire slash power wires. We're doing black blue, brown, which is alphabetical order. Okay, so now the control wires are in the same order on the outside unit as they are on the inside unit. One, two, three, black, blue, brown. Okay, so now we're hooking up the power wires. So the, remember, the neutral is already hooked up. We're doing black, L, and neutral is white. And these connectors, they go underneath beneath the metal plate here. Okay, so slide. For, I mean, that's true for all of them. So make sure you slid underneath the metal plate. Okay, the last step is putting this mounting flange. It, in this case, for this unit, it helps to have the control wires a little bit to the left of the power wires. And so then everything is going to be done here. One, two, three, black, blue, brown, uh, line, and neutral. Both the uh, uh, grounds are going to this green screw. Tighten this up all the way. And then 
We're just going to put this cover back on the same way that it came off. Okay, so this is just finalizing the plate, and now everything is quite tidy indeed. And the final step we'll do momentarily will be turning this on. Okay, so everything is nice and clean and hooked up. So this is the last step. In this case, it's a 120 volt, 110 volt, 115 volt unit. And yes, normally we wouldn't have this sitting on the ground like this, but for experimental purposes. Turning it on. So momentarily it should open up here. There we go. The anticipation. So this, this coil right now is 64 degrees, 63, 62. 60, it's heading in the right direction. So the coil, right at the coil, will get in the, you know, 30, 35 degrees or something. The supply here will be about 20 degrees difference than, um, than what your return air. Return air is up in here. Uh, but if it's 85 degrees in the space when you turn the unit on, it'll probably be about 65 uh, degree air uh, coming out of here. Okay, but anyway, it's working. So thanks for your participation in watching this.